in the front of the base. And now all these units are going to have to run away. Or he's going to do another drop, in fact, maybe. Um, he did get a high Templar kill there with those Marauders. And now... It seems like, oh, these siege tanks have been shelling away at this base pr for quite a while now. Um, shutting down the mining facilities of this base completely. And he really needs something to scout the high ground of all these units. All these, oh, shelling a load of those zealots there during that drop, which was really bad. And now warping in two high templar on the high ground in order to be able to no doubt storm these units here. So let's see what happens. Oh, the storms. I love storms, as you can see. Massive storms going down on all those units, killing so many SCVs. Oh, my God. And now warping into an Archon, but going to be taken out by those units very quickly. You do see now that Demuslim is throwing down an expansion in the 6 o'clock position, as well as uh, Naniwa has this gold mining very, very soon. And all these... Uh, cannons are still raining down on the Nexus, just taking out the Nexus there, and he's going to be warping in a few Zealots here to finish, take out these um, tanks. So, hopefully, hopefully, yes, he is warping in a few more Zealots now to reinforce this, he should be fine. And that should be shut down very soon, he is now fleeing with this factory, making sure that he gets all cost for cost covered, and not keep it, he might be actually just be using it for scouting now that he knows that that's been completely shut down. A lot of warp prism action here, a lot of attacking on both fronts. We do see now another DT and another Zealot warping in, in order to try and take out this expansion here. But these units going to be moving down very fast. Oh, this DT is going to be running past the units? I hope he is, I hope he's going somewhere else. No, he's going to try and one-shot a few of the Marines. And um, he's going to need to scan very soon. And we do see quite a few ghosts now out for Dark. Uh, de Muslim, so I'm not sure he still hasn't noticed these buildings yet so oh my god, an EMP going down there, interesting EMP choice, but we, yeah very interesting, and now all these units are out across the field, huge amount of energy on these high templars for storms, so once these storms do go down that's going to hurt a lot feedbacking quite a few of those ghosts, but EMPing all of those high templar and they lose all their energy, that was brutal and so now there's going to be no storms, they're going to need to flee as quickly as they can, but all these stimmed units are going to be able to catch up with them. So now throwing down a Guardian Shield, realising that they can't run, and uh, trying to pick off as much as possible. These two Archons morphing in in order to be able to try and get a few more kills, but it's going to be completely pointless. They do go down very, very fast. This factory just hovering overhead in Naniwa's base. And we do see now an extra expansion. Oh, this expansion was destroyed by these three zealots, actually. Sorry, I did miss that. Um, but he is now throwing down an extra expansion. But these units of the Muslims are moving out across the field. And can be scanning on the gold in order to be able to see what is going on here. These High Templar do have uh, energy for storms. But so he's going to be trying to EMP those as quickly as he can. With the awesomeness of EMP... Uh, and now that uh, command center had to be cancelled because of three zealots, very nice there. And he's throwing in a few more zealots in order to, be able to try and take out these units. And he needs to be able to stop a huge storm going down on all those units. And a second storm, he needs to get another storm on those units in order to be able to take them out as much as possible. Loads of marines going down there. A few more orders of marines going down there as well. And now this lone cannon is all that stands between this force and this expansion. Scanning again to make sure a massive storm again going down on all those units. He needs really another storm to really, really cripple this unit composition here. And we do see an Archon warping in at the top in order to be able to try and fend them off. More ghosts, more marines coming out for the Muslim at this point. All these probes trying to run away from this force. And it seems like uh, Naniwa right now is in a spot of bother. This tech lab's still alive here. These three zealots chilling out saying, hey, it's up, yo. Uh, nothing much. And we can see now that the Muslim is going to be moving in with this force for a kill. And we do see now a huge storm going down on those uh, those units. And trying to warp in a few more units, but it's a bit pointless at this point. And yeah, it does have powerful storm on there, taking out a lot of those units with that storm. Nice storm again. So Naniwa's storms have been brilliant throughout this entire game, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely perfect throwing in a few more units here and he does have 800 minerals he needs to warp in more more zealots in order to be able to fend this off as much as possible EMP going down on that high templar so he can't actually warp in any more uh, can't even can't use any more storms at all from that high templar and now these two ghosts and this one uh, marauder are having their fill EMPing that uh, High Templar, the two High Templars there, the w but they did morph into an Archon, so it's not going to be very useful at all. And now these units are going to be moving back in order to be able to reinforce, no doubt, uh, as that was a quite an action-packed time up at the front of the Naniwa's base. 
So now all these units just regrouping, getting a lot more, trying to get energy back on these medivacs, and they're going to be reinforced by these units here. Naniwa really needs to get a lot more units out in order to be able to vent from this. He needs to warp in more zealots since he does have that zealot charge. And I'm sort of surprised he hasn't gone for the uh, level 2 upgrades. Both players are just sitting at 1-0 one, one upgrades currently. So a big storm going down there, but I'm not sure it hit too much. And we do see now all these zealots charging in in order to be able to try and take out these marines and marauders. Big storm going down on those units there. But it's not going to be to any use. These Archon and High Templars have been taken out by the sheer might of Marine Marauder, Medivac and Ghost. Very, very potent combination from Terran here. Whilst these units um, have just been smashed by the EMP. A big EMP going down on that High Templar there in order to be able to make sure that he can't storm. And warping in more zealots in order to, be able to try and defend this off. But I'm not sure it's going to be too successful. These... Um, Another EMP going down on that High Templar whilst these cannons have had their energy drained by that EMP as well. So warping in another arc on there, he probably needs to EMP that so it can make it as nullified as possible. More zealots warping in. Oh my god, sorry. I've got such a cold at the moment, it's horrible. And we do see now that the Muslim is forced to retreat. So nice holding off there from Naniwa, but I'm pretty sure now at this point he's going to be... Yes, now as you can see, the Muslim is reinforcing with a big ball of units here. Warping in another Dark Templar, and that was scanned. Very nice scan there to spot that. And it seems like the Muslim is now going to move down here and destroy this uh, Templar uh, Dark Shrine. Uh, as well as fend off this zealot who's picking away at the base. All these units now coming down in order to be able to destroy these buildings. This probe panicking. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> but it's going to be too late for you, Proby. Sorry about that. These zealots just having a dance up here as I just saw them moving on the minimap. And these buildings have gone down. So there's going to be no more DT action. And we do see this. Where's that Dark Templar? He's there taking out this. <laughs> taking out that uh, tower. I'm going to be trying to take out a few of these supply depots quickly. We do see a scan going down, and that's going to be nullified very quickly by these Marines and Marauders. So now another Dark Templar actually warped in just before the Dark Shrine went down. Going to be trying to pick off as much as he can over here. I wonder if he does have energy for scan. He must do with all these. Does he have energy for a scan? He does he does have an energy for a scan and I believe that went down and killed that Dark No, that Dark Templar is running up there running away for his dear life and uh, I love that Dark Templars have two different portraits, it's like the only unit in the game that has them. And did anybody know as well that Immortals have a little fish swimming around in their portrait? I didn't know that until like I looked it up on Starcraft Wiki. I didn't look that up specifically, it just sort of came along. Anyway, using this factory now <laughs> for scouting purposes and it's going to be moving in with this unit. This is a scary ball of units here and I think this is going to be GG once these units have gone into the base. Now scanning just to make sure that you can see everything that's going on in this base. Big storm going down on those units but these medivacs, oh one medivac does get destroyed there and another big storm going down on these units. Really needs to blanket storm these units so they have nowhere to move and uh, warp prism now coming along in order to be able to pick up these zealots so they can reinforce but this nexus has gone down. All these probes running away and these Zealots are charging in now. Big EMP on the High Templar on the top. Nice EMP there. Uh, so he can't storm again. And we do not have any more. We have a few more Zealots warping in. But there's nothing else to storm these units. Big scan going down in order to be able to see what's going on. This DT still raining havoc in the base. But it's going to be taken down now by that uh, turret. Uh, turret's vision. And now that's pretty much GG. And Naniwa leaves the game. So yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> So thank you very much for watching guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this game and I will see you guys next time.